Hey guys, and welcome back to another installment of my monthly investment portfolio updates. It is September 2022. So I've had a bit of time off and I've been off doing some busy, exciting things to do with Frugal Spender. And the one that I'm most excited about that I wanna share with you is the Frugal Spender podcast. How I come up with these names, I don't know. So on the podcast, I'm up to episode 25 already, and I'm really enjoying the process of reaching people on the podcast world that want to learn about personal finance. I have some amazing conversations with guests, and I've got plenty more lined up. Up. And on the podcast, I condense all things personal finance related into digestible episodes that you can listen to whilst you're pretending to work in the office. So head over to whatever podcast platform you use and have a listen. Okay, let's talk about the economy. Since my last portfolio update in April, shit has truly hit the proverbial fan. It's safe to say with the potential war, the high interest rates and everything that was announced in the mini budget, people in the UK, including investors, are a little bit sceptical about how things might pan out. And in a nutshell, the markets have taken a significant hit. So what should you do? Sell, sell, sell. Well, that's what you do if you listen to the scaremongering. And if you listen to what I've said since day one, you just keep buying every month, regardless. You cost average. Times like this are a test for your nerves. Are you literally going to put your money where your mouth was when everything was going well. Well, let's find out how my portfolio has done since we last spoke. Before that though, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you like seeing the behind the scenes of my investments, why not like the video too? Let's cast our minds back to April 2022 when Boris Johnson was still the Prime Minister and high earners still needed to pay more tax. More importantly though, my total invested money was £15,981.60 with a split of £14,066.59 on my stocks and shares at ISA and my SIP and £1,844.01 one of Bitcoin within Binance and a measly £71 invested in stake in Tesla. So a few changes to talk about. I have withdrawn all my money from stake and I put it all into Bitcoin. And that was a rather easy decision because there was only a couple of hundred pounds in that account at the time. I'm happy to be more aggressive with 20% of my total portfolio in more risky or aggressive things. Bitcoin being one of them. It means that I've simplified my already simple portfolio where I'm investing in the Life Strategy 100 fund, the S&P 500 fund, and Bitcoin. For me personally, I think Bitcoin is going to add a lot of value to people's lives in the future, which is going to mean that's going to be adopted by more people and then it's going to drive the price up. Remember, nothing I talk about in this video is financial advice. It is educational only. It's just to show you what I do. Okay, let's have a look at Vanguard. So my Vanguard portfolio, the current value here, my investments is £17,204.56p. And this is broken down into £7,091.59 in my SIP, my self-invested personal pension, and £10,112.97 in my stocks and shares ISA. It is utter madness that I'm nearly at the 20k invested mark. The beauty of me doing these update videos is that I can go back and watch my reactions to progress and at the 10k mark felt surreal. So to get to this point after being in debt previously feels pretty good. Hopefully by you seeing what I've done and what I'm doing, you should know that you can definitely do it too. I don't and I never have earned ridiculous money. In fact, I was on a below average salary when I was getting out of debt and started investing. Okay, so if we have a look at the SIP, you will see there is a total gain of £663.34 with a contribution from my business of £500 so far this tax year. And as usual, I am solely invested in the Life Strategy 100 funds within my pension and I currently hold 25.4 units. And what about the ISA? It's looking a little bit sad with a return of minus 8.3%. It's never nice to see in the red, but it's part of the journey. And if we have a look at the funds held, still Life Strategy 100 and S&P 500, both down a little bit overall. I also wanted to quickly show you the performance graph within my ISA, as I think it shows my journey really clearly. It's a pretty nice looking graph. And even though I've only been investing for two years, it almost looks like an exponential graph already. You can see here that I started in July 2020 with under £90. This is money that I built up within my Moneybox account and then transferred it over. And now today, just over two years later, that's sitting at £10,000. And it isn't showing the full 10k because my direct debit came out today and the purchase for those funds 
hasn't finalized yet. Hopefully that gives you some hope if you are in the beginning of your investment journey. If it is, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's take a look at my crypto allocation, which is and likely always will be solely in Bitcoin. The current value here within Binance is £1,942.47p. And this is up just over £1,000 since April, but that's not really that great seeing as I put in more than £1,500 since then. And you can see why here. Bitcoin has been very volatile over the last week, month, year, it kind of always has, with a high of over 60,000 earlier in the year and the value now sitting at around about 17 and a half thousand. I previously did quite a lot of research into Bitcoin out of curiosity more than anything, and I've got into it more and more. And like I said earlier, I think over time it's gonna be adopted by more and more people and countries, especially as people begin to distrust government and currencies more and more. But I am not the Bitcoin expert. And in fact, I don't really like talking about it too much because it's such a complex subject. But in the spirit of transparency, I wanna show you that I do own Bitcoin. If you wanna learn more, I would advise you to go and have a look at Bitcoin and see what problems it solves. There's plenty of information out there on YouTube and books to read. But please remember, don't invest in anything at all, not just Bitcoin, anything, unless you understand at least what it is at a fundamental level. So in summary, my total portfolio currently sits at 19,147 pounds and 3p, with a split of 17,204 pounds 56 in my stocks and shares ISA and my SIP within Vanguard, and 1,942 pounds 47 within Bitcoin in the Binance app. Now that's an overall increase of £3,165.43 since April. And this is mainly driven by the fact that I've put in as much money as I can just to get that snowball rolling so that compound interest can work in my favour. The markets definitely aren't strong right now, but as I always say, that is the perfect time to buy things at a discount. Remember, it's all about how you view the situation and not letting both fear and greed take over. Thanks for watching the video guys. Let me know your thoughts on the market at the moment and what you're currently doing. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you get any value from the content that I put out there. See you next time.